Hello and welcome. My name is Misha and in this video I'm going to explain how to set up switches on your transmitter to tune your PIDs in flight without a computer or fancy Bluetooth modules on your copter. Let's get started. To do that we need Clean Flight Configurator and have to run either Clean Flight or Better Flight on our copter. In order to see something in Clean Flight, we will have to connect the flight controller first. Now let's jump right over to our receivers tab. The battery is plugged in, so the receiver is powered, and we can see the three position switches on auxiliary 2 and 3 that I've configured on my Tyrannus. After seeing that the auxiliary channels actually change something, Let's go over to the Adjustment tab to configure the switches. I'm now enabling these three lines that I'm going to use to make the changes. I have chosen Auxiliary 2 to change between the lines and have to select that here on the left. We also have to push those green bars to wherever the signal of my AUX2 ends up. Now I have to select what I want to change. Not only the PIDs, but also expos and rates are possible. Check the list to learn more. I'm using roll pitch for P gain, I gain, and D gain for now. As you can see in the top right corner, I can use my AUX2 channel now to choose between those three lines. I can then change P, I or D gain for roll and pitch. First though, I have to set up auxiliary 3 as the channel to use for changing the actual value. Now don't forget to save and let's jump over to the PID tuning tab. Since the flight controller gets a signal now from the transmitter, CleanFlight doesn't actually know what's happening in real time, so I have to hit refresh a lot in the next few seconds, so we see the changes. The beeper that is connected to my NACE board beeps once for every decrease and twice for every increase of the value. That means that while I'm hovering in front of me and tweak the PIDs, I can hear the beeps and count how far up or down I went. In order to save the new values, we have to land and do the save signal with the sticks, or connect the flight controller to the computer without powering down, and save the values there. That's what I usually do, because I'm a control freak and I want to see the numbers. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and thanks for watching guys.